Hello, welcome back to our channel. David actually had to go to work this morning. It's Saturday. Sometimes he has to go in on Saturdays, which is a big old bummer. So I figured I would start today's vlog. We were talking about maybe starting to vlog a little bit more. Um, we've had a few people ask us. Um, so first on today's list, by the way, our Christmas tree is up. We do have a, still a few things to do, like garland up here. Maybe we'll do that today or tomorrow. This will probably be a two day vlog. So I need to clean the kitchen. See, all those dishes that need to be done. We also did get some iPhone cases sent to us, which we are going to show you a little bit later. Kind of normal Saturday. Well, not really normal because normally David is here on Saturdays, but he's at work. So I guess you're just gonna be stuck with me. Okay, so I'm a little embarrassed to say that this is what my kitchen looks like right now, but we are about to change that. Don't look, it has been honestly a rough week um, feeling kind of sick and tired in general because I am 15 weeks pregnant now and I'm really feeling it this week so I hadn't had any motivation between working um, and just living but yeah let's ugh, let's do these dishes I did also want to quickly show you guys this bumbo seat that my parents gave me it is a little old so it needs to be cleaned up a little bit but it was my little brother and sisters um, so this is like probably 13 years old, which is crazy, but they kept, they kept it. And it's blue for our baby boy. So we're gonna use this that my siblings were sitting in. So it is the version that doesn't have the seatbelt, but it worked really well for my mom with two of my siblings. And um, obviously our baby will never be in it unattended. So I'm really excited to use this for our baby boy. So thanks mom and dad for bringing this over yesterday. Oh, and I promise my hair will not look like this all day. We will be doing that after the dishes and getting put together. But let's do these dishes. Just to be brutally honest about how unmotivated my, I have been this week, I'm unloading the dishwasher right now. And these are the glasses that we use for Thanksgiving. Keep in mind, Today is December 3rd. Thanksgiving was last Thursday. So I haven't unloaded the dishwasher since I cleaned up from Thanksgiving. Then again, I mean, this week David and I haven't really eaten a lot at the house, um, mainly because he's been working and I just have been working and life, but all of these dishes, I'm sad to say are like a week old. So we are getting motivated today and solving all of the issues in the house, which have been mainly this kitchen. It has been so hard to get motivation. I don't know if this is just the season of life that I'm in right now, but it has been so hard to get motivated. But now I think I'm kind of sidetracking and putting off actually doing these dishes. So I'm gonna unload this dishwasher and get these dishes done and get this kitchen clean. So this is just me being brutally honest about my life right now. One of the main reasons why <clears throat> It has been so hard to do the dishes lately have been they just smell so bad to me i know that these are old dishes but like even when it's like i had just cooked this time to do the dishes i just like smell it Ooh, it's like so hard <clears throat> i just need to get through it Ooh, it smells so strong it's so strong i'm just trying not to gag all right we're gonna be done really really soon I see a pursuit. All right, so the dishwasher is loaded. I just need to hand wash a few pots that are left right here. Uh, this is my coffee. Um, and then we just need to mop the floor and make our bed because our dogs have been digging outside. They just recently started digging and they walk in with like sandy, muddy paws. 
<laughs> and they leave tracks everywhere. I'll show you once we're done with the dishes how desperately these floors need to be mopped. And I swear I mop them like every other day and they still always look dirty. It's ridiculous. But we're gonna do that, make our bed, get ready. And hopefully by the time we're done with all that, David will be home. So let me just hand wash these pots and then we'll get moving. Look, you can see the bottom of my sink. So these are all just air drying. Look how many pots and pans I had. Are you kidding me? So now what I like to do is take bleach water, especially since my sink is white. This is how I get rid of like those stains over there. I just use some bleach water, spray the whole sink. I actually learned this like cleaning technique when I worked at a catering company. Um, I hate these ceramic sinks though. Our last rental house had them and so does this. So I've gotten pretty unlucky with sinks. So this trick helps. I let that sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna hit this spot directly on one more time. And then it'll turn white. We'll wipe it down with this cloth. Like here are these microfiber cloths. This is what I love to clean with. I always have them handy and I keep them all in that little container right there. But yeah, so we're gonna let this um, soak a little bit. Then we're gonna clean the counters because this needs to be wiped down. But these are the new knives that David got me as an early Christmas gift. Um, I have the box actually sitting right here still. So let me show you. The Cuisine Art Classic 13 piece set. Um, we got it on Amazon. I'll leave, leave a link down below. Uh, they're actually really nice. We've only, I've only used one last night to cut chicken. So still testing them, but so far I really like them. They are an upgrade from our last set, which is this one, which was a Chicago cutlery set. So um, yeah, it was exciting to get a new set of knives. So these are the sparkly new ones. They have really thin handles, which are nice. But um, yeah, so we're gonna wipe down the sink, mop the floors, clean the counters, and we will be clean. All right, floors are mopped. I'll link down below the vacuum mop that we have. It's a Bissell. Um, yeah, we really like it. And look at this, a clean kitchen. I just will have to put these away later, obviously, after they dry. I was gonna hand dry them, but I have so much more to do. I'm also gonna try to edit a video today, which I just remembered, but I wanted to show you guys these paw prints. Look, look at these paw prints from outside. I even put this rug here to hopefully alleviate some of that, but that has not been the case. If anything, they're just getting this rug dirty too. This one and this one are the culprits. You got dirty paws. Yeah, you do. Don't you, Joe? Yeah, you guys have dirty paws. Look at this floor. And that is why my kitchen floor gets so dirty too. But we have this gate that we put up to keep them out of there. But yeah, I'm gonna mop this entire area. But we're listening to some Michael Buble Christmas music. I'm cleaning, aren't we, Joe? Just waiting for daddy to get home. Let's mop the floor. These are all the dog toys that I just picked up just from the living room. Look. They're just preparing me for this baby. All right, living room is clean. It's really nice to see, honestly. I have to vacuum our couch at least like once or twice a week because of our Australian Shepherds, so good thing we have a good vacuum. <laughs> All right, now that the floors are dry, I'm gonna put away the mop. I can let the dogs out of the master since the floors are dry and then move on to making our bed and finally getting ready. And look, this is just like a little hairball that was in the mop that I need to throw away. <laughs>
anyone else have long-haired dogs that make you have to vacuum your bed? Yeah. I have to vacuum my bed because of you. Yeah, you guys make our bed so dirty. Yeah, from these paws. Yeah. I think what I'm going to start doing is wiping their paws before I let them inside. Maybe that'll help. If you have any tips to get your dogs to stop digging, please let me know because I am sick of having to vacuum every single day, every single thing in my house. <laughs> All right, it is time to finally get myself ready for the day. So I'm really just gonna brush my hair. I might do use my air wrap on it and then throw on some light makeup. Uh, I probably am not going to vlog much of this because I don't think that it's gonna be very interesting because I never really know what I'm actually doing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna get ready and then hopefully David will be home soon see you guys when i'm done all right hair makeup so i'm basically ready to go david actually did get home from work so he came home but he actually left again because he's going and getting his hair cut and this the barber like right across the street like he could walk if he really wanted to that's how close it is so he's getting his hair cut he'll be back soon and then We'll have like about an hour, an hour and a half before we have to leave. So yeah, I guess we'll just wait till he gets home again. <laughs> Does anyone else's dog think that they're a cat? Oh, Luna. Hi, Winnie. What are you doing up there on the pillows? You're being just so, so cute. Yeah. You're being just so, so cute. Looking outside. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. Sometimes she'll sit like all the way on the top. She's so silly. Isn't she silly? Yeah. Yeah, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, you. <laughs> so I guess I haven't really shown a bump update, but here is my 15 week bump. I mean, it could also be food. <laughs> Who really knows? Um, I have not actually gained any weight yet during this pregnancy. Um, I've actually lost a few pounds, so that is very interesting. But here we are, baby boy. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm sitting right now at 15 weeks. So here's my current craving. This is what I'm gonna have for lunch while I wait for David to get home. And I'm low-key excited. Look who's here, and he got his hair cut. Like, you okay, good, give us all the angles. <laughs> got a cut. Yes, and we have some iPhone cases yeah. from a company called iSword. Yep, shout out to iSword. Thanks for sending all of these over for us. Now so we nice. have, yeah, they sent us the entire pouch. <laughs> so we have iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max cases. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And Megan has the 14 Pro Max, which she's recording on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a couple of the 13 Pro Max cases on my phone, show you how they look, how they feel. Um, and we're gonna give all of these cases away. So all you guys gotta do is in the comments, write down what phone you have and what color you want. And, and your Instagram handle. And your Instagram handle. You have to be subscribed to our channel, like the video, and uh, we're just gonna pick, um, you know, I don't know how many phone cases we have, 20. We'll see um, how many people want some. Right, and uh, <laughs> we'll just ship them to you guys. So. Uh, make sure you drop that in the comments. Let's go ahead. Red's my favorite color. I'm gonna put this one on. So this is the packaging. Um, you know, pretty generic packaging. Um, has their nice logo on it. So they're sealed, so you do have to open them. Um, I don't wanna open one that I haven't opened in case you guys want the red one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use the blue one. So you open it up. Has a nice little uh, thank you. Oh, it says we apologize that we don't have fancy packaging. So they spent every penny on the case. Okay. So let's look at it. So on the inside, you can see that they have their logo right there, which is pretty nice. And it's like a nice felt material. Yeah. And then I'll say silicone. But right. I already have one of these cases on my phone and I love it. So nice it fits really snug. Yeah, it's definitely snug. I've had some silicone cases where they just, they're kind of loose, but this one is definitely really nice. And it also has a raised camera, cramp camera uh, lip right here. So, um, you know, you can see that. So when you put it on the table, it doesn't damage the camera. It's actually like nice and, um, you know, easy to pull in and out. It's grippy, but still small. Right. So, uh, soft. Right. So that's, that's a nice case, you know? And we have all those colors. Like I said, we are gonna give them away. So just drop, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then drop in the comments which ones you want. 
And this is a so this is a good silicone case option. Right. And we were also sent a leather case. Yeah. Shout out to uh Mujo. Mujo. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But um this is their iPhone 4 iPhone 14 Pro Max leather case. And this thing is beautiful. I already put it on Megan's um, phone once, but this is how it comes. And we'll switch out cameras so that way you can see it on the iPhone 14. Exactly. All right, so this is Megan's 14 Pro Max. As you can see, it's that nice uh, launch color purple. So again, I mean, this case fits phenomenally. Obviously, it's a premium leather case. Um, you know, it feels really good, really grippy. Um, and then you get that, you know, genuine And they're affordable. Feel. I think that's the the point that we want right. to make. These are both affordable types of cases from both these companies, and we will have links down below if you want to check them out. But thank you so much to both of these companies for sending us these iPhone cases. And we really appreciate you guys uh, watching our channel. So we're doing a giveaway with them. You know, so drop a like, give them all away, the and uh, let's see what else we have in store today. All right, it is the next day, and we are Gonna putting put the husband on the roof. I'm getting up there. It's to put Christmas lights up. Yep, I got long sleeve shirts on, long sleeve pants because uh, there's fiberglass on that roof. Yeah. And I do not want a repeat of last year where I got fiberglass all on my arms. Yeah, no. So we're gonna put up the Christmas lights, maybe put up some garland in the house. I had a few other pieces I need to put out and then we'll be all set for Christmas. Even though we're going out of town, still wanted to get the house already. Yep. Yeah. Tis the season. Yep, so we're gonna put up the Christmas lights and that's gonna be the end of the video. So um, enjoy. Who's butt? Tis the season to make your husband go on the roof. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Let's go over to the side? Yeah. All right, so we trimmed the top of the whole front of the house. Normally we like to do around the garage at our other house, but we didn't have enough lights. And then I did some garland on the front door and then framed all three front bedrooms. Um, ignore my janky uh, outlet situation. We'll see it at night. All right, here's the final product. It's so funny that window looks really red because of the choo-choo train. Good job, Looks good, thanks for your help. Yeah, looks really good. I really wanted to light the palm tree, but we need an extension cord to do that. <laughs> Get a closer look at the porch.